first, I want to say congratulations. You had a baby a few months I did. ago. Very Three months exciting. Ago. When you tell people that you had a baby three months ago and they see you, do they become angry at you? They're just like, what, which Spanx did you buy? That's I see. usually the, the next question. Spanx, okay. Yeah, it's and all about just like ratcheting it in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You had a son, you named him Ozzy, which Ozzie. is a cute name. Yeah, yeah, Osgood. Osgood. Good man. Is he named after Ozzy Osbourne? Is that... um, no, but we can go with that. You okay, know, all right. Yeah, I thought maybe that might have some, yeah, it played I mean, some part in it. He's, he's, he's great. It, it was one of those things where it's like, we, my husband and I, Scott, we were, we were so excited to just have one kid. You know, we have a beautiful daughter, Nova. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. And um, named after the Chevy, obviously. Um, <laughs> um, it's also celestial, but you know what I mean. Um, more so the Chevy. Um, and we were so excited to kind of travel the world. You know, we're like, we're going to be modern. We don't have to have two kids, you know? Um, and then we had sexual intercourse. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah. That's... I like that there was a clap. Is that Ian? Yeah, that was Ian, yeah. <laughs> He's like, sexual intercourse. <laughs> How are you? It's good to see you. He's, yeah. he's doing really well. He, he, we don't know how he's doing, really. We'll check back. He'll never him. tell us. Because <laughs> he doesn't know. It's a mystery. This, this guy's a mystery. So is your daughter enjoying her baby brother? Is she aware yeah, of it's, him? Yeah, it's, it's, to be honest, no. She's, she's not. having some trouble. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be like, you know, she plays with the baby dolls and stuff, so I thought it was going to be a shoe-in. Yeah, know? right, yeah. It's like a real live baby doll. Um, but no, she's having trouble with it. But she, the, it's funny, she, her main thing is she just wants screen, screen time, because we haven't done that yet, like the phones and stuff. Oh, oh, you haven't yeah. let her touch she's, an iPad she, or anything? Not yet. You know, we're going to do it. It's okay. part of the thing, right? Yeah, she's right. She's going to sure. get there. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm not that new age. I understand that it exists. Um, How old do you think she will be when you allow that? I don't know, but I will, I, maybe, th I don't know, she's turning three, maybe like for her third birthday, she can have like two minutes on it. I don't yeah. know, I'm a terrible mother. Yeah. Um, but very strict. But she, but because she loves our phone so much, um, we got her kind of like a, a play phone, you know, um, at, we were at Rite Aid or something and you're like, oh, there's a play phone, just get it, you know, because she won't play with ours. And I heard her, you know, we took it out of the packaging, she's in her car seat, and I heard her talking to some guy named Mark. She was like, she was like, oh, hey, Mark, uh, comma, what, how are you today, Mark? Um, and I all of a sudden realized, I was like, who are you talking to? And she's like, question Mark. <laughs> and I was like, who's question? Oh. We always do the dictation. You do. Honey, I'll be there. Are you OK? Question mark. <laughs> um, it looks like I'm running late, comma. Can you prepare dinner, period? So, so your daughter's only friends are punctuation. Yes. That's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This guy. <laughs> have you, do you feel like your priorities have, uh, your world has oh my been? Gosh. So, turned upside down? So vastly. I mean, now, especially, because when you have one kid, you kind of think it's really hard. And then you have, as you well know. Um, it's exponentially two, harder, yeah. Yeah, it's just like you're in the big leagues. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. My dad likes to give me advice. He's like, yeah, now you got kids, right? Before you had a kid, they have kids. I'm like, <laughs> I don't really know. You know what? It's very, actually, actually a wise thing to say. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It, you're just like wrangling. There's so much wrangling and so much, so many logistics. I mean, there was, um, your marriage turns into just a logistics conversation. What do you mean I by mean, that specifically? Like, I, the other day, and I promise this is without hyperbole, this really happened. Um, I, we were going through our schedules. So we really made um, a schedule, like a, a moment in our schedule to plan our schedule. You scheduled your schedule. I, Ing. that happened. <laughs> so there's like an event, like just schedule to talk about scheduling for the rest of the week. And I that's, like, this needs that's kind of terrible, isn't oh, it's it? it's terrible. Yeah. Oh, I haven't slept. And do you ever miss that schedule? You, is that a regularly scheduled scheduling you event? You can't regularly, you can't, you mean the reg to schedule? Yes, to that's schedule. That's regularly on the schedule. And now, and you, not only are you in this movie, you directed the movie, you wrote the movie. Uh, did you produce the movie as well? Yeah, I did just You did everything on like, the movie. Give me some more hats, So yeah. you probably don't have any free time at all. <laughs> is it, this is your second movie that you did yeah. all on your own, basically. Is it easier the second time around? No. It is not. No, it's not. Incidentally, um, I would have. I would think it would be easier the it, second I time. I think. I think because I took on so much. This one. This particular movie it has seven main characters, 
And, you know, part of it for me, the hardest part of this one was that the character that I play is sort of meek and low status. You know, she's sort of, she's based on my mom, but my mom is a tremendous woman. She's just very patrician and slight and like wears a lot of beige, you know, just all beige, <laughs> just whites and beige and eggshell, you know, like, and so there's just something very sort of small about her. And when you're a director, you have to be like powerful and like, I got this, I can answer any question back to one, you know. So I had to figure out how to like vacillate and kind of flip flop between those two people. Right. Yeah. And so I, I got this system where I have a fanny pack, which I love, incidentally, a fanny pack. You endorse the fanny pack? Highly. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it's good for mothers, too. So if you're a mom and a director, all, both of those things, it's great for a fanny pack. Yeah. So. If you're not a mother, though, you'll never get anyone to have children with you if you are wearing a fanny pack. And I need to talk to you. Yeah. Um, so, but, but the fanny pack, I would keep two scents, like, like, scents. And one of them was sort of like a flowery, lame, like, mm, like if it's like an, like an apology of a scent. And that would be my Alice scent. So I'd be oh. like, mm, you know. And then for the powerful moment when I had to go direct, I would take out the, like, Fierce, spicy Axe body spray type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was actually some sort of like Thai exotic herb that's just like rawr, and you just does your mother know? Probably illegal. Or does something. your mother know that she is? Uh. Well, we've talked about it. Oh, you she, did. Yeah. She because my mom is not lame. It's just that I I used her countenance. I used her sort of delicate <laughs> on the edge of her seat, just her elegance and her sort of like her thisness. Uh -huh. Whatever this is. And so, um, you know, that is, we've talked about it, and she, she saw, of course, she read the script and, and kind of understood what the movie was. But then in, in sort of seeing the trailer for it, she said, you know, I, I'm a little, I'm nervous. And, I, and she said it like this, more like, you know, I'm, I'm a little nervous, like, and when I watch this movie, I want to be near you so I can swat you. Oh, she immediately recognized yeah, that you were like, doing I her. Yeah, she was like, I saw all the beige, and I got concerned. <laughs> uh, and I was like, well, look, I mean, if you're, you know, you've you got a kid who's a writer, it's going to happen, you know? Well, so, yeah. And, it, and when you did watch it with her, well, how did she, she feel? She swatted She me. swatted you, yeah. Swat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. By the way, the mere fact that she uses the word swat, I mean, that's, that's, that's you why you got to write a character. Yeah, unless you're kicking a door in and you've got a, a weapon yeah, in your hand. Swat. Yeah. SWAT is not really no, I know. should be in your vocabulary. SWAT yes. could be like it's crazy that Part it's either SWAT like team. SWAT or it's like SWAT. <laughs> Those are your two characters right there, SWAT or SWAT. Which one are you? Well, Man? that's the question that will be answered in the movie. It's called I Do Until I Don't. It opens September first. Lake Bell. She worked very hard. On Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't, click subscribe. This invisible hamster will die.